Okay, we are live again. For the 329th <laughs> time this year. Yes, we had a lot of problems with uh, mics, um, especially mine, for some reason. Maybe it was damaged. Uh, in the I think you were damaged at birth. You have cursed, <laughs> cursed hands. <laughs> Anything you touch will defy us. No, it wasn't the luggage, dude. Uh, this was actually, when we actually went to Thailand, we uh, carried everything, yeah. right? But this time, uh, we bought a luggage, big one, and then we, we put all the gears in it. And then uh, it might have been damaged, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. very I mean, very it's functioning likely. now at the moment, but it was very strange. A lot of things were not working properly. Yeah. So we had a hard time to um, make it work. But anyway, here we are. Um, here we are. Yeah. Back in Phoenix. Yeah, back in Phoenix. The land of smiles. Wait. <laughs> no. You cannot say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the the state of the origin of Muay Thai. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say that either. Damn it. Are you telling yeah. me that here? Hey, what is, uh, what is uh, Arizona known for? You know? Do you know anything? I don't know. Cops killing people. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. What is Arizona known for? It's known for the Grand Canyon, man. It's Grand Canyon State. Right. Yeah. yeah. Through and through. Is that it? Uh, yeah. That's it. It's probably right. the biggest thing. Of course, I'm not a local. Even though I've lived here at like yeah. different points in my life, I've, I'm not, I'm not a native. Would so. you say that Arizona is the most red state in the country? No, definitely not. They actually went uh blue this past time voting really yeah i mean they have a huge uh conservative population here as you'll see from tinder and other right. things but <laughs> no i you mean it's not like girls <laughs> yeah <laughs> getting the fish getting the horse which is kind of weird to think right. that there's a lot of country out mm -hmm. here because it's desert but i mean we yeah. live literally across the street from uh horse farms and you know there's yeah. cattle and shit around so mm -hmm. surprising amount of agriculture and even the oranges they grow here and all this other stuff and yeah, cotton, there's cotton fields true. right there. In the middle we, of the uh, desert. We it's noticed very strange. As, as soon as we moved here, right? Yeah. <sighs> and they have a booming construction business here. Let me tell you. It, <laughs> it's well, always starting and it's never ending. So if you're looking for the, uh, construction work, you have a unlimited mm. bountiful supply here. Hey, in that's Mahati. actually true, dude. I mean, uh, yeah. there are a lot of construction work going on here. So, yeah, I mean, if I we're not joking. If you're looking for, you know construction work i mean this santan valley especially arizona yeah. um you can find a find a job pretty easily i think oh yeah, yeah. i think so uh we were recording this last minute uh yeah. because i was sick past few days um as soon as i got i got home <clears throat> really bad um strep throat high fever all that jazz, you know. Yeah, I pretty much haven't seen you for three days. Yeah. <laughs> Just like occasionally, like, oh, he's down and alive. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good news. Yeah, I look uh, a decent human now, but uh, just because I got, I feel better now, and then um, I'm still sick, but I feel a little bit better. And I, I, I took a shower. I didn't take a shower um, or even wash my face for three days. Uh, I was in my bed. Um, <clears throat> not COVID, you know, it's just strep throat. Hundred percent sure because uh, I started to feel better uh, as soon as I took the uh, antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we had that on hand. <sighs> yeah, thanks to your dad. I mean, <laughs> the medicine cabinet himself. <laughs> 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 he's a uh, he's an individual pharmacy here. So. <laughs> That's pretty much true. He's got a lot of medicine. Yeah, I was complaining about a uh, lack of Adderall the, the other day. Um, but anyway, I'm getting better. But um, all right, what are we talking about today? I mean, it's a, it's quite relevant to um, my status today and uh, a lot of things. We're talking about planes, trains, automobiles, and cars. Basically, mm -hmm. traveling, transportation, transportation, specifically. Well, airport. Airport. Uh, yeah, airport. Uh, some of you uh, might have seen my story. On Instagram, breaking news story twenty four seven. Uh, basically, my uh, complaint about this unacceptable handling by American Airlines when they uh, rescheduled. I, I say it again, rescheduled their flight uh, multiple times without verbal announcements. 
which I had never seen before. Uh, maybe I just didn't have experience with it, or that was, I don't know. What do you think, man? I, I just never seen that before. I mean, I think it was most likely just gross mishandling of the situation, probably mm -hmm. from the supervisor down, hoping that, oh, maybe mm -hmm. last minute this will be saved or reconciled and we'll have the yeah. flight, or rather than annoy people. Who knows, man? I, it was just total mismanagement because they didn't announce it at all. We're all sitting there at the gate. Right. Like, the time has already expired, and nobody's letting any of the passengers know what's going on. So, of course, when we finally do figure out, there's a huge bottleneck to get all the... Right people in line of course they don't have enough customer representatives mm -hmm. and they're just entirely I mean, there are so many things to point out though horrible situation but, they didn't give us two rooms they didn't do any they didn't do anything so they were yeah. doing for other people and then you know we were so tired at that point because we'd already had two other layovers yeah so we'd already been in airports waiting mind mm -hmm. you this is not even including flight time for over 16 hours right and you know three this has been the third flight at this point so yeah. the last thing I want to do is ask about anything. Just give me the voucher, go to the hotel room. And then the next morning, yeah. problems finding our stuff again to get us tickets. Yeah. And then when we finally get here, baggage issue. It's just total, complete, utter mismanagement, yeah. start to finish in every fashion. Let's, um, I think this is important too. I mean, obviously our podcast is not the biggest platform, but I think it's important to, uh, really spread this situation you know yeah. how they handle let's break it down from the very beginning okay we said that multiple times right they uh we scheduled okay that's fact first of all the flight was delayed multiple times that's a fact another fact there was no verbal announcement and you may think that oh you guys maybe just missed it uh, well, we did not. The reason we know is that all the people there, entire it was a big flight, right? Yeah, big flight. All the uh, uh, passengers were in the same situation. That's how we know that they did not yeah. announce. A lot of unhappy people because mm -hmm. they were trying to figure out what the hell is yeah, going on. Yeah, nobody knew what was happening. Yeah. So, <clears throat> to me, uh, I mean, that's a complete, completely unacceptable um, handling. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not saying this because I'm mad. It literally, I had just never seen anything like it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, this is definitely the worst experience I've had. I've I've flown a lot in my life, mm -hmm. and I've had some pretty poor experiences, particularly in Chicago, and you know yeah. weather condition dependent experiences. Mm -hmm. This was one of the first times where it's felt like mostly. A company's choice to mm -hmm. not staff properly and then book things still mm -hmm. like they obviously don't have the resources the manpower to supply the flight mm -hmm. as at least that's the reason they told us and then somebody made the the offhand comment of oh people yeah. don't want to work or something i was like bro no people want to get paid a fair wage yeah. to do what they're doing like fucking don't put it on the person put that on american airline one of the biggest you know, airlines that's been bailed out before yeah. and has been supported by the government and is in its central means of transportation in the modern age. Yeah. And I mean, I'm going to file, you know, a complaint with the Department of Transportation, DOT. <clears throat> you know, that's mm -hmm. the only way to get like formal complaints. And they've already had, from what I looked into, their complaints have gone up from. It's, it's a crazy, crazy amount, but the percentage of complaints are in regard to yeah. the scheduling of flights and then refunds and reimbursements of tickets. So I'm just saying I'd avoid America Airlines at all costs because you're probably not yeah. going to get the level of customer service or satisfaction from the flight that you'll desire. And then they just fucking they get more money and they yeah. get to continue what seems to be tantamount to a monopoly on airline travel. And it's, right. it's a load of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... The lack of crews and lack of, you know, staff, all that can happen, you know. I'm not saying, you know, we should still deserve all that situation, but, you know, that's a separate problem to me. I mean, another problem is how they handle it. How they handle it, yeah. Yeah, yeah Japan basically. Airlines, you would never you would never have an experience yeah, like that. I hate this. to say this, but, you know, Korean Airline and uh, Japan Airline, their service is great, you know. 
And I, I can't imagine if they were in the same situation, would have handled it yeah. the same way. Yeah. There's no fucking way. No, no fucking I, way. I yeah. agree with you. It's kind of an interesting subject to jump on when you're mentioning like Japan mm-hmm. Airlines, Korean Airlines. Uh, mm-hmm. I know we're talking about tra- traveling and transportation mm-hmm. today, but what companies in the U.S. do you think they just fucking nail it? They like do a great job, customer support and everything, because you know coming now that we're back from Thailand, mm-hmm. it's like, wow, there's a lot of flaws that are just obviously highlighted. And people yeah. think this is the best country on earth with the best everything. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Which is a, a complete illusion. Yeah. Just because you lack ex- experience. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. I mean, yeah, this isn't normal, people. What's happening with these airlines and shit? This is not normal. Not this normal. is not a, mm-hmm. a normal business operation, or it mm-hmm. shouldn't be. And we as individuals have to do something to stop either, you know, mm-hmm. lining their pockets or... You know, maybe government has to get involved to regulate so they can't take advantage of the customer, mm-hmm. you and I. So there's some there's some practical importance for government regulation in some regards, just so yeah. you don't get fucked by people. Yeah, I think there is uh, this fundamental difference between, is a cultural difference in my opinion, because uh, the West is characterized by individualism and the East is characterized by collectivism. So that starts from very bottom. Uh, the the fundamental unit unit of the society which is family so you often hear that you know oh asian family parents may say things like they're to their kids you know you're gonna you're gonna honor your family yeah you know? you're gonna do things that honor your family yeah you know or the opposite you, you're not gonna do this because that's gonna dishonor right? <clears throat> dishonor everybody right that kind of you know collectivism translate into business as well yeah. That your behavior, you know, re- represents the value of our brand. Yeah. So that's why they say, it's not my company, it's our company. Mm-hmm. That kind of cultural difference exists. I think that's what uh, makes the customer different, a uh, customer service quality and all that different, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I yeah. mean, that makes total sense. And it it's in every facet mm-hmm. of those corporations those businesses Mm -hmm. in those countries it's just it's kind of uh mind-blowing to find all these so and they're not even subtle differences that's the thing you you come away with a way different experience when you work with you know a japanese company or korean company one that's reputable of course Mm -hmm. you know that's what we're talking we're talking about a business that a business that's considered successful you know whereas even look at here with the healthcare and things of that nature, you can't get a straight answer for anything, man. Yeah. Went to Thailand, took my dad to the hospital because his shoulder. Mm-hmm. Easy. Hey, here's what it's going to cost. Here's what an x ray costs. Mm-hmm. Here's all of the things up front. It was ended up being like 30 bucks. Yeah. But here's a doctor. He's going to see. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Yeah, there's no. I can walk to a hospital right now and get an mm-hmm. x ray for 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking right. No way. In the yeah. US, you know, and they found on the x ray that he has a total tear of the. Uh, Mm-hmm. rotator cuff which you know is made up of several things but you could see it even from the x-ray so it's like mm-hmm. oh you need an MRI and surgery you know shoulder replacement yeah. comes to the US and they deny him a claim from getting an MRI my dad works for a great company has great insurance great mm-hmm. health care no, well, no we're, we're dying to claim we want you to go to rehab first bro what the fuck exactly this is what I'm talking about this nonsense that's well, like why, standard what's the basis of that this isn't I don't know. It's got, I'd have I mean, to ask I, I'm you. I'm telling you, the rotator cuff is fucking torn. Yeah. Yeah. There's no well, rehab. it's one of their ways to like continually perpetuate the machine of just feeding that system. Oh, we're going to go send you to somebody <sighs> that we can we can bill you for rehab now. Don't worry. We cover, you know, 70% Sorry that I of that. too bad, Lydia. <laughs> I'm so, I mean, uh, this has been a topic of annoyance um, for a long time. That's why. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're, it's we're a huge talking reason. about airport, I mean, airlines specifically today maybe we should expand it to customer service i don't know let's see let's see how this goes this conversation ends up but um that that's just beyond unacceptable yeah well this is why you and i you know go our ways to take care of our health and our bodies because we just i mean frankly because we obviously don't have jobs right now (laughs) other than you know the podcast we don't make money is what i'm saying yeah and we have to take care of ourselves because mm-hmm. you're one injury or accident away from yeah. a hospital bill that you can never repay. Yeah. Like, how fucking crazy yeah. is that? 
I, I, I know. Um, gladly. Fortunately, um, we're healthy. We well, know how to take you care. You were healthy now. You just, you know, <laughs> we'll see if it recovers. By the way, I, I, I need to say I'm sorry in advance uh, because my voice is a little hoarse. Really, um, of all the things you have apologized for, that's what you're picking? Um, I mean, I would start with... It's, it's, uh, I'm having a difficulty actually speaking a little bit, but um, just please know that I'm still sick. He grew up in Korea. Um, yeah. It's <laughs> totally unrelated. I don't see how this relevant. He had oatmeal for breakfast. You know, guys, you know how this is. <laughs> hey, totally by the way, hey, speaking of oatmeal, uh, last three days I had uh, oatmeal. Oh, did you? I was yeah. just saying that randomly. I had no oh, idea. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Well, because there was nothing I could eat. Um, I, I mean, mean of course, there are a lot of things to eat, but at home, right? Yeah. In the pantry, I saw oatmeal and I saw banana and some honey. So, great combination, right? So, <sighs> ease in your um, throat, too. Yeah. So I had that like for breakfast and lunch, something like that. And then I was so sick of anything that's sweet. Yeah. Because uh, e- uh, otherwise I was eating um, some fruits, uh, mm-hmm. watermelons or uh, pineapples. Not even apple. I mean, I didn't. Even, I didn't even dare to even think about eating apples because it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Where you cross your mind? <laughs> exactly. What am I a fool to even entertain the idea of an apple right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, my... people, pull it together! <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Which is my favorite favorite fruits. I know. Um, but I, I'm feeling better. Back to the topic. Do you think we? I think we need to. Uh, again, like I said earlier, we need to really break it down so the baby they can understand it better. I think you gave them a really great summary. But uh, starting with that uh, delay, the initial multiple delay, delays and then there was a huge customer uh line oh. to the customer service right there were four people we were in line well, over this is another an thing. hour this is another thing mishandling so people these days man i mean this is young young younger generation and people they share information like no others right mm-hmm. so there a lot of them were already in the uh, in the line we didn't even think about it honestly at first right but the line was getting longer and that's when we you know for the first time thought that okay maybe we need to be in the line too <laughs> yeah well the, th- the thing we were thinking was like okay you know we'll wait till the line dies down but there's so many goddamn people yeah and this happened to more than one flight so this is also the cautionary note to you mm-hmm. this wasn't just a standalone incident that happened to be our flight this was multiple flights mm. so that's why the yeah. line was so long so they're not only it's not like this is one-off yeah. thing where american airlines has Oh, bad, you know, bad news. A crew got sick. They can't fly. We got to ground your plane. Whatever the fuck it is. This was 100% negligence on the yeah. airline's part, and they knew they can offset the cost. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't give you a hotel room. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't worry about it. If it was going to be so damaging to their reputation or their bottom line, they would never, ever risk doing what they did. Like, there's no way. You just wouldn't yeah. risk that. You can't. So you have to understand every company that goes into business or, you know, any company that's of any scale, like large size, yeah. they know they're going to lose money in specific areas, right? They have a budget for it. Um, and this is this is part of their budget. Guess what? Getting fucked over by their service, mm-hmm. they, they have that built into their budget. And I think yeah. it's way too high. I think that that budget's too high. You know, the tolerance is too high because they're well set up they're protected and they're in a very lucrative industry so oh i just found out there? that what was wrong with my mic is <laughs> it facing the wrong way yeah <laughs> <laughs> well that's screwed up oh my god on. anyway he still works but wow. um and on that note now that we're about 20 minutes in, I guess only the Patreon <laughs> people are going to be able to hear Kai clearly. So think about that. You think about that while you listen to this free episode. While you sit there, you can't contribute your $5 to hear him. <laughs> in the full version. Well, this is another evidence that I'm sick. But, um, well, thank you for listening. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. See you later. See you later. Bye.